I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Bulbasaur. First starter of the first generation, first in the Pokedex, and first in many of our hearts. As a kid in the West, Bulbasaur and the Revolution has always felt like the other one in the eternal Squirtle vs. Charmander debate. And no doubt this is because we got the red and blue versions and never got green originally. And also, Charizard was unbelievably popular. So the decision was between Mr. Popular, Charizard, or Blastoise, who was super effective against Charizard. No one wanted to choose Venusaur, who was weak against fire. You're an idiot, you'd get beaten up on the playground. You'd be hounded out of town, your parents would disown you. That's all completely unfair, of course, because Bulbasaur is a great Pokémon. Super effective against the first couple of gyms in the original games, levels up and evolves quickly, and Masuda has even gone on record to say Bulbasaur is his favourite of the original starters. What is a Bulbasaur? They're a bit of a weird one, a little lizard dinosaur frog thing with a plant on the back. Most of the Pokedex entries talk about the Bulb being lovely on it when it's born, so it brings up this whole weird symbiotic relationship thing as well. The Japanese name, Fushinane, just means strange bulb. The two evolutions just mean strange plant and strange flower, so they don't tell you anything about the animal part of Bulbasaur. The translated name has to be taken with a pinch of salt, of course, but the suffix, saw, used on words like Dinosaur means lizard, and Bulbasaur is more like a lizard than an actual dinosaur. In fact, to me, he mostly resembles the Dinetrobot. If, like me, you were a kid who liked playing with big buckets of toy dinosaurs, you would have encountered a Dimetrodon. It's a big squat lizard with a large fin on the back. Dimetrodon is often mistaken for a dinosaur, or as a contemporary of them, but it became extinct about 40 million years before the first appearance of dinosaurs. Back to the Dimetrodon though. Take off the spine, give it a plant, and there you go! Instant Bulbasaur. Just like his fellow starters, Bulbasaur had a big role in the anime. Ash's Bulbasaur is shown as loving and kind, famously using its lullaby to put Togepi to sleep in the first movie. He stayed with Ash for a long time, just quietly being loyal and cool. Ivysaur is a pretty by-the-numbers middle evolution, it's just halfway between a Bulbasaur and a Venusaur. Perhaps the most notable thing about Ivysaur is that it's playable in Smash Bros. Brawl and Ultimate. Makes a certain cynical sense. Charizard's inclusion was inevitable. That leaves a first stage and a middle stage evolution. And their Gunster wants squirt all over War Turtle. Hence, you get Ivysaur by default. Later, Ivysaur evolves into Venusaur. Venusaur was a cover star on the original Pokemon Green, which never left Japan and finally worldwide with Pokemon Leaf Green on the Game Boy Advance. It's a big, grumpy looking lizard, with a whole tree growing out of the back. back. It's kind of goofy, I can understand why kids don't find it, it's inherently cool that the white man like Charizard or Blastoise with his big cannons. On the other hand, Venusaur is a big, lovable hunter. I think a Venusaur would hang around with a Tavila Popper Veil, sit under a shade. It would be great. Finally, in Generation 6, the original starters could be attained in game again, and this time they had Mega Revolutions. While the expansions to Charizard and Blastoise were pretty straightforward, Charizard is more like a dragon and Blastoise has a bigger cannon, Venusaur had kind of already reached the logical endpoint of the design. An adult and the bulb have become a tree. The Mega Revolution throws some flowers here and vines and extra trees in there, but it does feel a bit like a mess. Your heart has to go out to Bulbasaur and family. The original starter, one of the original box monsters, always overshadowed by Blastoise and Charizard. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon was created by Jonathan Cromie. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. If you're interested and you enjoy the show, please do like and subscribe on YouTube, rate and give us a 5 star review on iTunes, 
tell your friends, retweet it, generally help it spread. These are early days and they're really keen to help something like this find its audience. And I want to find as many Pokemon fans as possible so that I can share your love as well as mine. And if you have anything to say about the next two Pokemon, Charmander and Squirtle, then please get in touch. And even if you have a different favourite Pokemon, let me know. I'm going to cover all of them eventually. I'm on Twitter and Facebook at LukeLovesTKMN. And you can email me at LukeLovesTKMN at gmail.com. I love Bulbasaur, and remember, I love you too.